Hey everyone, Jamie here from TechnicalCafe.com, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about methods and return types in Java, and how we can go about using methods to make our programs more complete, more capable, and more interactive. We can also use methods to help uh, reuse code throughout our programs, so we don't have to actually write the code multiple times over, we can just call methods of a certain class uh, and, and use the code within that class. Um, so let's talk about what we have here. We have a bank account.java class that has a string variable called account holder in it, uh, and that is set equal to my name, Jamie. We have a double variable called balance, which is set equal to 100 to represent $100 in a fictional bank account. And then uh, we have this main.java class here, which just has the main method in it. And this is the class from which we're going to be calling the methods that we write in this bank account.java class. So we're going to be creating methods to manipulate this data as well as work with other data that we create as well. So let's talk about what a method is. A method enables you to do calculations, it enables you to print things to the screen in some cases, uh, you can uh, manipulate data with methods, you can read data into programs, uh, things like that. So you've probably seen methods or at least heard of them before, they're sometimes also called functions in other programming languages like PHP, C, C++, uh, and others as well. Um, but this is what a method looks like. So a method's going to have a return type, and this is going to be, uh, you know, string, double, in uh, any of the primitive types we talked about previously, uh, and it can also have a return type of void, which we'll talk about, which means that it doesn't return anything. Um, so we're going to have a return type, then we're going to have a method name uh, for a method, and following that we're going to have a, a set of parentheses here, and this represents what's called a parameter list, so inside of these parentheses you can have things read into a method like a name, an age, uh, any type of number, or whatever the return type is of the method uh, you're usually going to be reading in. Uh, and then following that, we're going to have a method body. And uh, this setup is similar to what you'd see in a conditional statement, like an if or else statement, um, just with the, the parentheses here in the body. And whatever's contained within the body of the method is going to be where you're going to be doing calculations, um, manipulations of data, things like that. And then we're going to follow that up with a return uh, statement, provided the method returns something and doesn't have a return type of void. And uh, the return value is going to be uh, something of this return type. So if you have a string method, a method that return, has a return type of string, you're going to be returning a string. If your method has a return type of int or double, you're going to be returning an int or a double, respectively. Let's go ahead and write some methods to w work with this data that we have here, uh, as well as work with other data that we can uh, throw in there as well. So the first thing we're going to want to do is print out the account holder name, maybe a welcome message or something like that. And uh, we can do that using a string method. So we'll say string, and we'll call this welcome message and we'll follow that up with the parameter list. It's going to be blank. Uh, we're not going to really talk about parameters in this tutorial. And we're going to say, let's say we're going to return, and we'll say welcome, comma, space, and then we'll concatenate on the account holder's name. And this can be a nice welcome message for when somebody first logs into their account, something like that. So let's come over here to main.java and instantiate an object of bank account. So we'll say bank account, call it my account, equals new bank account and follow that up with some parentheses. And now that we have a bank account class object, we can run uh, call methods of it. So we'll say my account dot welcome message. And uh, in order to call a method, you're going to be using a period here. This is um, what you use to call a method from another class. And basically what calling a method does is t takes whatever is within this my bank account class, uh, which is represented by this my account object, uh, and just basically references it or calls it uh, from another class. So we're using this welcome message contained within bank account within main.java. So let's compile our code and run it and see what we get down here in our console. Uh, you'll notice that the program's already terminated, it's done running, uh, but nothing appeared. And the reason for this is because this method only returns something. The welcome message method doesn't actually print it. So we have to print whatever it returns. So system.out.println, and we'll throw the whole method within there, including the set of parentheses. And now we'll compile and run again, and we'll see what happens. Now you'll notice that we have our, our, our welcome Jamie uh, message that we printed using our welcome message method. Uh, so everything worked very well there. So let's go ahead and create a method uh, that returns this bank account balance here. Um, so since we have a double value here, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and create a method that returns a double. So we'll say double, and we'll say get balance. And this is something that's actually called a getter method. Uh, we'll talk about that in uh, another tutorial. And what we're going to do here is just return the value of this balance variable. So we'll say return balance. And what this is doing is actually using the balance that is written within the bank account class up here, uh, the global variable. So let's come over here and we will go ahead and say system.out.println myaccount.getbalance. 
And notice when we call a method we, um, or write methods, we're using camel casing here. So we have get the lower the first word in the method is lowercase, and the second word is balance uh, is is capitalized. And this is just a convention. If you had a third word, it would also be capitalized, so it'd be get balance third. Uh, and this just helps with readability, and it's just something that's standard practice within programming. So uh, let's go over here and see what happens when we run this here. So you'll notice that we have our method uh, did work. It says 100.0. It prints the double. Um, and that's that. So we can actually go ahead and change this. Let's say we want to say 200 or 250. Uh, we can go ahead and compile and run this. And you'll notice that everything should work properly as well. So it, it just uses whatever is contained within here. Uh, so the next type of method I want to talk about is one that has a return type of void, meaning it doesn't return anything. And um, you'll notice that uh, one of the most well-used methods, uh, or frequently used methods within Java, also has a return type, the main method here, because um, it doesn't actually return anything. So let's go ahead and say void, and we will say um, print this. And what this method is going to do is just going to print some random stuff that we want to say. So we can say, for example, system.out.println, and let's say thank you for using our bank. And we don't have to include a return type down here underneath this or anywhere within this method uh, simply because it doesn't return anything. Uh, it's not going to be uh, returning any any values whatsoever. So let's go over here to main.java and let's go ahead and call this. So we'll just say um, uh, my account dot and see what I called the method here. Uh, print this. So my account dot print this and let's see what happens when we go ahead and compile and run this. You'll notice that we have thank you for using our bank. So our method works just like we wanted it to. Uh, the reason we don't have to put this this method here within a uh, set of system.out.println statements like the other ones uh, is because it doesn't return anything. This thing, this method actually does something, um, and it prints to the screen. So these uh, are some of the methods that you can use in Java. There's certainly more uh, return types you can work with and things like that. Uh, you can also include parameters as well. Um, but feel free to play around with them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Uh, I'd be more than happy to try to help you out where I can. And thank you for watching.